Hey, happy Monday, my Geminis. Welcome back to Tarot by Cherie. We're going to get started on your daily reading right away. Hope everybody's feeling good today. Let's get started. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Okay, this is surely love, guys. Okay, I'm seeing, uh, for somebody, I'm seeing an offer coming in, and this looks like it may be a soulmate for you. All right, this is the Page of Wands, a very intelligent masculine between the ages of 20 and 35 coming in for you. Okay, when this person comes in, you're, because right now you're feeling somewhat protective, all right, over yourself, your emotions. So when this person does come in and you meet you meet him, you're going to uh, maybe still feel like that, okay? Um, but after a while, you're going to be possessive over this page of wands, okay? This is somebody that, like I said, they're very well matched for you. Um, they're vibrating high. So this is going to be somebody that is going to be very good for you. So you, you might want to put down this protectiveness before you run into this person because it can come off like people pick up on energy, especially now, guys, you know, our, our, um, our powers, if you will, you know, our intuition and, you know, our ability to pick up on others' feelings and energy at this time is getting stronger. Okay. We're in a biblical time right now. So, um, we are growing as people. You guys here, you, you're known as the star. All right. Spirit wants you guys to know every time this card pops up, I'm um, to tell you that they view you as the star. But more importantly, they want to make sure that you view yourself as the star. So don't let people talk down to you and disrespect you. OK, take your time when you're getting to know a new person. Use discernment, use your intuition and go slowly. All right. Here I'm seeing you moving into new waters. Um, this looks like it might be for all my aquas, uh, moving into new waters and offers presenting themselves to you. All right. And I just heard this week, this week. Okay. So this is really nice. So, you know, um, you're feeling yourself this week. You're feeling good about things. You're feeling, you know, and guys have anybody, any of you noticed, um, uh, going outside between yesterday and today just like something feels different if you if you felt that please comment on the site okay i'm interested all right and here i'm seeing um some of you have been spending some time alone and feeling alone and i see that you're going to be uh going out more often i'm seeing you meeting up with people and doing more things starting to uh come out of that shell a little bit a little bit more and here i'm picking up on uh wow okay i'm picking up on a feminine here and this is this is a single mom or at least a mother with children all right that i'm speaking to right now um i'm seeing this your cycle is here so this is um, a lot of positive things coming to you for your betterment, okay, and for your children as well. But for right now, you're not you're not seeing anything coming out of this because there's another feminine in your life that is causing some kind of chaos. It looks like, okay, I don't know who this is to you, but this is somebody who has a sword tongue. All right, somebody who's can get very nasty, and um, critical all right so that might be somebody you might decide to move away from or distance yourself away from this person because they drag you down and they take your good mood and they turn they trash it all right here i'm seeing uh somebody is wanting something this is a wish fulfillment but not just a wish fulfillment this is coming to fruition for you and in this reading i'm also seeing abundance i'm seeing uh, money coming in and I'm seeing this king of cups uh, there's a masculine that is somehow connected to you or will be coming in uh, with finances okay so this could be you know this could be anything but you know this is the creation of money that is coming to you all right and I feel like I'm talking to at least one of my Gemini's there. All right, here I'm seeing 
somebody's feeling lonely really alone and this is making you feel sad and you're you're confused about a lot of things in your life right now you might be kind of looking at your whole entire life as a whole and going down memory lane and trying to just figure out this and that okay just know that you're exactly where you're supposed to be gemini every single one of you is whatever it is you're doing okay you're exactly where you're supposed to be god gave us all eternal life and we come back to this planet over and over again to learn and teach all right the earth is a school and you know we as we go through another lifetime and another lifetime we grow we become smarter we treat our brethren better and that's what god wants from us okay so anyway um just know that what I said is true. You're exactly where you're supposed to be in your learnings and your teachings. Okay, so be kind to yourselves, be kind to others. And uh, I am seeing this card of abundance over here. So I feel like your life is about to change for the better and you're about to become abundant. And look at this two aces side by side this is wealth guys this is abundance prosperity lots of money okay coming in gemini and we've been talking about this and it's been showing up in every reading okay yes i did uh, shuffle the cards very well before the reading i always do and i'm still shuffling in the beginning uh when i open up the video but I'm seeing everybody's emotions, like people partying like crazy, people, you know, feeling elated, their emotions are overflowing from their cup because of this enormous amount of money that is coming. This is a blessing, Gemini. All right, this is a blessing. You're not seeing this right now. You have to change this. You have to change this and have faith that this is coming. All right, because partly... This is, you know, a ma everything really is a manifestation. Um, if you didn't know that your thoughts and feelings create your future, that's exactly how the universe works, okay? Um, so here, I'm seeing a lot of you still feeling burdened and looking over your shoulder, uh, not sleeping well at night. And some of you are, are carrying around a fear. You're fearful of the unknown, what's to come, what's happening around you in the world and looking over your shoulder waiting for the new the next shoe to drop when you have all of this you're sitting on this guys this is on its way to you practically in your lap now so i want you to change this up and have faith that you are going to be provided for in a big big way Okay, and it's not just coming to you, Gemini's, it's coming to the entire planet. All right, here I'm picking up on a feminine who they're saying is getting some healing but needing some rest as well. All right, um, there is a couple here, a Queen of Wands and a King of Wands. These, these two people are in your life, they're connected to you somehow, um, and for some reason. Uh, you're using your intu intuition on them they uh there's something about about them going on right now that you're trying to figure out i want to say these two people are very much alike in a lot of ways okay and i feel like they're a couple um they get along extraordinarily well and they finish each other's sentences they might even be a karmic couple meaning that they knew each other in a, in a different lifetime and they're back together in this lifetime because one of them has to either make something up to the other or there's some unfinished business that needs to be done okay so i'm seeing um a lot of intuition for some reason being used on this couple maybe you're just amazed at them and you just you're just trying to figure out how they do it you know it's almost like they're the same person all right um here i'm seeing somebody is has a, a wish fulfillment okay however the thing that you're wanting is not good okay a matter of fact it's something extremely toxic and something that is going to harm you in the long run okay um you know right now you're trying to figure out 
exactly what is going to be good for you and what you want in this world, what's going to make you happy. And you're kind of conflicted about it. You're conflicted about, um, I feel like, I feel like you're being, uh, pulled into something like, like you're, what's the word I'm looking for here? You're being enticed, uh, something taboo, something, you know, is taboo, but it's enticing because it's taboo. And you're going to be getting some kind of, uh, some kind of communication it looks like on whatever this is i do not know what this is but whoever i'm speaking to you know you know what that is all right let's continue all right i feel like someone just moved away from something or someone that was getting in the way of your happiness okay and it could have been this knight of cups here um, who was trying to come in and with some type of an offer, but this person made you feel defensive. You feel like something about this person is like, there's things going on in the background that you don't know, that you don't understand. Maybe just not enough trust for this person at the moment. All right. Um, one of my Gemini's is feeling, uh, I want to say stuck and ignored. Um, and just like maybe a little paranoid about something, but I'm seeing this victory coming to you. And, uh, I'm seeing also that you're needing strength right now to get through this, whatever this is. Okay. This is, this is definitely something, uh, that's not positive. All right. But but spirit is saying it's going to turn out really good. Like it's going to turn into a victory for you somehow. Um, so it might possibly be the strength that is going to help you uh, through whatever it is you're dealing with. Okay. And here I'm seeing um, a lot of happiness coming through. Um, somebody that I'm speaking to right now that is single. Um you're working really hard right now trying to beef up your money okay um this is probably a lot of you you're you're working diligently you're trying to you feel like your your money's being juggled you don't have enough money like we're all in this boat pretty much okay um but the happiness is going to be that this knight is coming in. This is romantic and he's coming in quickly. This is somebody very romantic and, and someone who's going to want to sweep you off your feet. So I have a, a lucky princess out there who's going to be receiving a word from this knight soon. Okay. And whoever I'm speaking to, you're single. This person's going to bring in a lot of happiness to you. All right. So here I'm seeing, um, I have an empath here on my hands who is, well, not on my hands, but you're making some kind of decision to balance something out in your life right now. Okay. Because, um, you might be feeling like either you're judging someone or something, or they're judging you, whichever it is, I feel like you're, you're working on, um, making this right, balancing it out somehow. And through this decision, you're going to be able to do just that. Spirit is saying that this outcome is going to be fabulous for you. It's going to continue to grow and get better. Um, and you have a lot of, uh, positive things, good things coming your way. Okay. So no worries there. All right, now this is for a masculine and this has to do with the workplace, okay? You're not paying attention to this uh, boss figure over here or you're, you're trying to ignore him, but there's, there's something making you feel stuck in the workplace, okay? 
and because you're looking the other way i feel like you're just trying to ignore this situation because you feel stuck like there's nothing you can do about it right now but i feel like if you asked really nicely right now for this raise you're going to get it because i'm going to tell you why even though psychologically we're all seeing all we're feeling like all these come we're, we're seeing it the companies are closing they're shrinking they're um you know laying off so our psyche is telling us psych psychologically that uh not to ask for a raise it's a bad time i'm lucky to have a job this this and the other thing but the companies that are going to be sticking around they know that your dollar for every dollar they pay you last time i looked and that was months ago it was worth 13 cents so this is what we're up against when we go to the grocery store our dollar that was once worth a dollar is now only worth 13 cents so they know this they know that everybody is you know suffering and penny pinching right now if they want to keep you and the companies that are staying uh, uh, you know alive and well they need workers okay and if they want to keep you they're going to give you that race so you have a really good chance of getting that and the worst thing that could happen is they say no okay but i see a raise coming to a great many of you in the workplace right now if you're at a stable place that is not you know and if they're going out of business or laying off they're gonna do it anyway right so you have this awesome opportunity right now um to get this uh a uh, bump up so go ahead guys take advantage of this now it doesn't hurt to ask like i said worst case scenario is they're going to say no just don't you know just do it very politely um just say i'm having a tough time right now paying my bills i would like to possibly you know get a raise and that is the reading for today guys i hope you enjoyed it and if so and you like the videos please help me out like and subscribe so i can continue to make these videos for you have a wonderful day